Salesforce versus HubSpot versus Pipedrive, which is better for CRM. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I'm going to show you a comparison between Salesforce, HubSpot and Pipedrive. These are all basically CRM software, CRM automation softwares where all your customer relationship management you can do uh, of your business is uh, worked and you can just do everything in a really good manner and you can keep an eye on everything and it basically fulfills all your CRM related needs. So these are all platforms related to that. So if you have a company, if you have a big company and if you are quite worried which software to use for your CRM and which will better according to your needs so you have to see this video till the end and i'm going to show you a quick comparison and advantages and disadvantages of all the platforms and you can make a better choice while choosing the platform for yourself so first of all i have right here salesforce open for me here i have hubspot and here i have pipe drive okay so all of these softwares are really good in their own manner if you choose any one of them i'm pretty much sure that you'll get all your needs fulfilled it's not something like they like something which the other doesn't have but there is a little bit difference in their whole working procedure so uh if we talk about advantages at first salesforce right here is much better if you are a more professional person because salesforce have more um you know professional integrations it has more apps you can integrate a lot of things into uh, salesforce if uh, rather than hubspot or pipe drive uh, but the thing is, it is quite expensive if you are into new business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you are uh, making a small business for yourself, if you're an individual, if you don't have a big company, that it gets a little bit pricey for you because you cannot uh, basically spend that much amount of money only on CRM because a business has all of other needs as well. So uh, all those CRM is very important because your customer relationship is what is going to drive the sales to your channel, what is going to drive uh, basically the whole product flow from your website. If uh, you don't get a good customer, Customers, if your customers are not satisfied or not happy, then it's very a legal chance that you will go, you know, you, you will have a great downfall in your business because that's how business works. It's all about customers. The more good customers you get, the more uh, basically trusted customers you get, the more, uh, you know, money you're going to make. So it is the whole thing that CRM is this important. So if you talk about uh, Salesforce, as I told you, it is better integration. It has more apps and it is much more professional as compared to the other two platforms. But HubSpot right here, it is for free. You don't don't have to spend money for HubSpot. So if you're an individual, if you're a beginner, if you have a small business, then I would recommend you go with HubSpot because it has got all the things that you need for the CRM and it doesn't have anything that like you won't feel like you lack something and uh, eventually if you start growing if your business grows to an enterprise or something or like if you think that these are not fulfilling your needs now you can just simply move, switch to see uh, other software like uh, salesforce or you can switch to pipe drive so the pipe drive right here is the first crm it is designed by salespeople for salespeople so it is more um, handy pipe drive is a lot more handy than other two platforms it is much easier to use and it is very very beginner friendly but it has pricing plans as well so let's take a look at their products now if you go to uh, salesforce here you can see they have different products in the products they have uh, something for small business they have a sales cloud they have a service cloud they have a marketing cloud they have a platform then they have a commerce cloud so these are all the products that salesforce has and you can use them for yourself according to your own needs they have different features as well like if you talk about the small business they have lead and account management customizable dashboards and productivity tools so you want to use these kind of things and you can basically uh, for every need of crm like for if you have if you want to go to service cloud if you go to marketing cloud for all these different needs you have different platforms so it is very easy to integrate everything it is also very easy to basically come and uh, you know to manage everything in different platforms in different places if you go to hubspot and if we see their products okay so here are their free features that you're going to love they have email tracking they have prospect tracking they have meeting schedule they have live chat and they also have like uh this for free and uh, so it is going to be a little bit less in the whole things but they have sales leaders they have sales people you can go into marketing you have customer service teams operation managers and business owners if you go into the software here you can see they have a marketing hub 
here you have a sales hub a service hub a cms hub and an operations hub so these are all the basic needs that you're going to use on your hubspot as a free person and i think they are enough for a person who is just starting their business or they have like a small team or a small business which uh, operates at like 10 to 15 people and uh, either home based or office based doesn't matter but for a small business this app is amazing so you, they also have like app marketplace you can see all the integrations right here and overview of all products from this specific option you can just uh, demo of all the things that they have okay so now if we go on to sales crm and pipe line drive okay so if you go on to pipe drive here you can see this is the uh basically you can try it for free and uh, it has some good features as well it is uh three easy steps are there set up your pipeline track the process and automate growth then you have these uh, specific uh, pipe drive top features visual sales pipeline and everything you can see right here okay so now if we go into the products you have a sales software you have an email software and you have integrations so as i've told you it is very beginner friendly and it is also very easy to use they have a simple sales software where you can get your sales automation manage leads you can get insights and reports email and communication and crm as well then they have an email software in email you can do email marketing you can build your email you can build your email segmentation you can marketing automation you can make email automations and you can uh, see all the email analytics for yourself and then you have your integration then in integrations you have your marketing automations you have lead generation build your own app you can also build an app from pipe drive which is not available in other two platforms that i've told you and they have a lead generation so as i've told you it is very easy to use and like when i will start uh, i will go onto their dashboard you will see why i'm saying that again and again so pipe drive also has a, a live chat bot where you can ask anything that you want hubspot also also has this and salesforce also have a chatbot where you can uh, in lifetime you can just go on and ask any query that you have okay so now i'm gonna go on and i'm try for free all of these things i'm gonna log in to all of these platforms and then i'll show you guys what their dashboard looks like and what is the inside view of everything okay guys so here i am this is hubspot and logging in and signing into hubspot was very easy because it there was an option available where i could be able to sign up with uh, google so i just went with that and it was a very very easy process so here you can see now this is their main dashboard and from here they're asking me to connect my team your team email to hubspot and you can uh, set up a team inbox from here and this is basically they're guiding me from where i can start and everything so i'm just going to skip it for now and now here you can see this is the main dashboard of hubspot so this is service hub uh, this is a sales hub this is operation hub and cms hub so what i'm going to do is you can uh, put your customers first with service hub fee so the progress right now is 29 percent because i haven't imported any data to my uh, ca into my service hub you can just click on this import data and you can import all of your data to your service hub so that it will basically start automating the whole process and you'll be able to get all the uh, you know insights in one place so how to import the data you what you need to do is you need to choose a file from your computer or anything and then you can uh, you'll be able to move on to the next and you can uh, basically don't have a file you can download a template of the file and start with our sample template to make a file of your old data so i'm just going to go back and i'm going to show you the other hubs okay so this was a service hub if we go on to the sales hub this is a sales hub and you can see uh discover what your tools can do get started by adding some contacts so you can add contacts and you, you can invite a teammate to add contact you can do both from here like if you're a ceo you, you you're probably not going to do that yourself so you can invite a person from your team and you can add it and you can ask them to basically uh invite um, and add contacts so you can get started with two minute lesson on scaling your skills potential and you can invite a teammate to try hubspot with you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can add contact if you click on this option right here import a file in three easy steps sync with from google uh, contacts and you can sync from outlook contacts any one of these and you'll be able to add contacts into your uh, sales hub now if you want to go to operations hub here you can see the manually manual data entry two ways data sync and start interactive demo you can start the demo of their operations hub and you can do that and here you can see that you have all the apps and integrations you can uh, basically come on and try everything then you have your marketing hub in marketing hub you have you can also invite your teammate and everything and then you have your cm 
CMS Hub. So as you can see, it is the basic uh, dashboard of your HubSpot and it is very easy. All your contacts are gonna be here. Your conversations are gonna be here. Your marketing uh, is gonna be here. Your sales here, your service, automation and reports. Everything is very good and it looks really good and everything. So if you go on to Salesforce, here you can see their dashboard is a lot more professional than it was on HubSpot. Plan your pipeline close more deals sell smarter and sell your way okay so this is basically how you can start a journey these are assistant new lead assistant to you today uh new and you can just go on and these are basically all the sample things they have added now from here you can get started and you can see this is the home accounts contacts leads opportunities tasks calendar dashboards and everything so their dashboard is and the quality performance is right here my account is here and and this is the sample of everything that they have basically they are telling you what is going to be where so you can just get started and plan your pipeline and close more deals and everything you can do on later so if you talk about pipe drive i could not be able to get started with pipe drive because it is not available in the region that i am in and i have to add my phone number to basically continue and i was not able to uh, get my phone number listed because it is not available in the region that i am in so i cannot basically exceed with that but it is uh you know uh, it is all the things are going to be very much similar to everything else so i'm just going to salesforce again and here you can see you can manage your pipeline understand and take actions on every deal in pipeline you can basically go on and create everything and get started with it and you can uh, basically add contacts if you go into contacts you can create a new contact from option right here okay so for the contact what you want to do add is basically you have a salutation mr and mrs and everything then you have your first name your middle name your last name your suffix your account name and title and which uh, department is this uh, contact going to be so you can add that here so these are all the fields that you need to fulfill uh, when you are making a contact and you can just click on save and like let it be and you can click on save and new then you'll be able to add a new contact and new sheet will open up so you can add as many contacts as you want into this and you'll be good to go so uh salesforce is basically uh right now i'm having a 30 days free trial on salesforce and user hub is very free so you don't have to go on and add different trials okay so if i take a look at the pipe drive pricing plans the essential is for nine dollars and it has all of these features lead deal calendar pipeline management simple simple data import and easy customization everything there's another plan for 19 dollars. it is the essential plan and it has some other features as well and the recommended plan is the professional plan which is for 39 dollars and the advanced uh, plan plus it is create manage and e-sign documents and contracts revenue projections forecast enhanced customer reporting then they have a plan for 59 dollars as well and it is the professional plan that you can use if you have a big company now and if you go on to the salesforce you have three plans there is an essential plan which is for 25 dollars but this plan is not available if you go on to professional it is for 75 dollars which is per month which is complete sales serum for teams of any size and then there is one for enterprise and it is for 150 dollars per month so if you're basically uh, a new person i would recommend to go with hubspot which is free and it will it is going to be free for the rest of time when uh, how much you want to use it and you can uh, you know invest other money into marketing through facebook ads and everything and i think it is a better way to market your business and it is going to be good so you don't have to spend you shouldn't spend all of your money on your crm needs if you're just getting started so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful if you have any query just comment it down in the comment section below and i will try to get back to you guys until then take good care of yourself and bye bye